Now then, how are you going now? Today I thought I'd show some unusual Japanese CDs and most of these you could only get in Japan. The first ones I'm going to show uh, will be familiar to most of you but there are some differences between the Japanese versions and uh, overseas. So this is the Japanese version of uh, one of the double feature CDs, Viva Las Vegas and uh, Roustabout. Now the double feature CDs were released in three batches in Japan, four, um, three and three. So the first four came out in uh, 1993. Um, most Japanese CDs these days have uh, a release date on the back. Somewhere, If you look somewhere on the back it will give you the release date. <clears throat> now there are a couple of different things about the first batch. Um, and the first one I'll try and show you. If you look at the width of the CD, this is the double features CD here, and here's another CD box here. So the first four double feature CDs came in a dual case which was a little bit wider, um, so a little bit deeper uh, than a standard dual case, a little bit fatter. And the reason for that is because uh, the booklet was so thick. <coughs> So the booklet that came with uh, the first Devil Features CDs is uh, about 64 pages thick. So it has all the English information in there, um, all the information in English, movie credits, uh, photographs, etc. But it also has Japanese liner notes and the lyrics in English as well. But there was something else which was very unusual for the Japanese uh, double feature CD and you've got an extra insert just like this one here so on this side you have the Viva Las Vegas EP artwork and on the back side you have the Rouseabout album artwork and this actually opens up and on the inside you get the back covers to the original records um, I've got another one over here as well this one is also from the same series, the first the first series, <coughs> uh, Harem Scarum and uh, Girl Happy. Again, this has the fat, fat jewel case, and it also should have the artwork insert in here. Harem Scarum on one side, and uh, nice cat! Girl Happy on the other. And on the inside, we've got the two back covers. Now when the second three came out, and I've got an example here, Frankie and Johnny and Paradise Wine Star, um, by this point the booklets were not as thick anymore, so they were able just to use a, a standard jewel case. It's still a pretty generous booklet, it's about 44 pages in there I think, um, but it was thin enough to get into a standard jewel case. And again, in the second series, uh, double features CDs number five, six, and seven. You got the insert again. So here's the Frankie and Johnny side, Paradise Hawaiian style side, and again it opens up, and you have color photos of the original back covers on the inside. So that second batch came out in 1994, July 94, and uh, the third batch, the last three double feature CDs came out in uh, May 95 and here's one uh, I have to show you here, this is Chiro, Live a Little, Love a Little uh, and so on. Now in the last three, maybe because there are no actual LPs uh, on here, there was no artwork insert so you just get the booklet and this was in a standard uh, dual case. Now another thing that they started to do I believe with this second group of double features was they started to change the design of the Obi spine and if you look closely at the bottom there you can see there's a little picture of the album artwork at the bottom and this continued with the next three so just right down here you can see the album artwork on the spine of the Obi now most CDs released after these ones in 94 they they were the same on, on the OB 
you would get a little picture of the album design there on the spine. Okay, the next thing I'd like to show you is uh, a CD that you could only get here in Japan. And it didn't, didn't cost very much money. In fact, it was uh, free. Gold Disc, Niseki Gold Disc. So Niseki was um, a uh, petroleum company and uh, they had uh, a lot of petrol stations or gas stations as you call them in America. And uh, people who bought their petrol at the stations could get this CD for free. And uh, it's called Gold Disc. The disc itself is gold. And all the songs on here were actual gold award discs. It only has one Elvis song on there, which is uh, Can't Help Falling In Love. And it has some other songs too by other famous people, uh, Nielsen, The Monkees, and so on. And the booklet has uh, a photo of each artist with some notes in Japanese on each song. But what I like about this uh, CD, this was released back in 1990, by the way, and at the time, people didn't really have CD players in, in their cars. They only had uh, cassette players. So what they gave you with this CD was uh, a J-card for a cassette. So you could just record the cassette, record the CD onto a cassette and write down the tracks on here. The next thing I want to show you is a couple of budget CDs, like this one here. And uh, this is a, a double CD. Uh, it's called Elvis Presley Early Contemporary Album. And um, this is not a BMG release. It was produced by a company called uh, Eibic, E-Y-E-B-I-C. Uh, now the copyright, this, this is from 1995, and uh, the copyright laws in Japan were um, a little bit fuzzy at the time. And so companies like this were able to get away with making CDs like this. Now what this is, it's, uh, it's a two CD set of uh, famous Elvis songs. Now what they basically did was they just took a regular BMG CD and recorded, it, recorded the music onto these two CDs here and uh, released it like that. Uh, with an obi. Now, it has a little green sticker here, Jazzrack. Um, that's a performing rights society in Japan. So the company was was paying mechanical royalties, but they didn't pay anything for using the master uh, recordings. They just used uh, existing CDs. So it's a little, a little bit like a CDR almost. Uh, so yeah, so they were able to sell these cheaply because it didn't cost as much to produce them. So the price on the obi is 2,500 yen, which is about $25. But in actual fact, they wouldn't sell them at that price. They would sell them much cheaper. Uh, and people would see the, the price on the obi and think, aha, uh -huh, that's a bargain, uh, and then buy it. And, and the sound is fine. And actually, this is one of the better looking ones. Um, the, the gold text is actually a raised print. And it looks a little bit, it uh, looks quite classy for what it is. Another example is this one here. This was made by a different company. And this is a three CD box. Uh, best hit 60, Elvis Presley. And there are 60, uh, 20 songs per CD. Now this looks like an obi on the front here, but in actual fact it's part of the box design. It's just printed onto the box. And uh, what they've done here is they've put uh, the CDs into three separate cases. So this one just has this kind of generic photograph of somewhere like Las Vegas that probably didn't cost anything to use. And uh, this one, volume two, has the same picture as on the front of the box. And volume three has the same picture, just uh, inverted. So they only had to use one photograph in order to save money. And that's one thing you'll notice about the first one I showed you. There's actually no photograph of Elvis anywhere. So that's another way that they were able to save money by not using photographs or by just using one photograph. And on the back, it's again, the same photograph. So this is just the same idea, uh, just recordings of BMG masters uh, onto CDs and released um, apparently with a, a high price. So this one says 6,000 yen on the side of the box, which is about $60. But then there's a little sticker beside it saying 1,980 yen, or about $20. So 
So it seems to be uh, a bargain. Now, you might ask where they sold these because they couldn't sell them in shops. Um, but they were able to sell these CDs in places like stations, in big stations, so people would pick them up on their way home after work. All right, the next thing I'd like to show you is this uh, book. And uh, on the other side, it says uh, Shufu no Tomo CD book, CD books 19. Um, and you can see there's a picture of Elvis on the front and on the back. Now, you can also see there is a list of song titles here, and that's because the book came with a CD. And it's, uh, it's on the RCA label, this is a proper legitimate CD, and the CD basically would sit in this little case here, and it goes inside the book here. There's a little slot here for the CD to sit in. Now, the, the, the outer part here, that's the dust jacket. You can take that off. And the book itself, the cover is actually uh, plastic. And another thing that they did on the inside, just on the inside back cover, is a green sheet of paper here. This is actually an inlay card, so you can cut that out, um, put it into a proper CD tray, and use that as the inlay card. Uh, as for the contents of the book, there's actually an essay in here about Elvis's last 24 hours. There's a list of his movies with some photographs. These are all fairly familiar photographs. And some not so familiar, actually. Looks like there's one picture per movie. Information on Japanese CD compilations, and then it has a discography of the BMG CD. So the last one on here is The Great Performances, which is 1990, July 1990, and it goes all the way back to Elvis Presley number one, April 56. And at the end, as ever, you get the lyrics in English as well. Now, originally this came with a, a, an obi, a little light blue obi, which wrapped around the dust jacket. So, books are also sold with, with obis, not just CDs and LPs. So, just to show you an example here, this is uh, the first Peter Gralnik book, uh, Last Train to Memphis, translated into Japanese. And you can see the obi here, this little red strip. Now, because books are all different uh, sizes, it's really difficult to keep a, a book obi in nice condition. So as you can see this one here on my, my book, it's, uh, it's got a bit ripped here on the side. Not so easy to put these things in covers like it is LPs and, and CDs. So this came out in 1990 and um, by the way, Shufu no Tomo. Shufu no Tomo means uh, housewife's friend in, uh, in English. All right, I've got two more to show you. Uh, the next thing is this magazine with a CD attached. Uh, this is called Golden Pops, and this was released in 2006, January 2006. Um, and uh, you can see some Japanese single artwork here. These are some of the uh, songs that are on the CD. I'll just take you through the magazine. This, uh, this is the cover artwork for the CD. What it does, it gives you lyrics for each of the songs in English and Japanese, and then it gives you the... Um, artwork, the Japanese single artwork down here. So the first track is Heartbreak Hotel. There's only 10 songs on the CD. Next one is Don't Be Cruel. So this is the Japanese single artwork for Don't Be Cruel. Um, the next one is Hound Dog. There's a single for Hound Dog. Track number four is Love Me Tender. With the Japanese single artwork here. Number five is All Shook Up. And uh, that's the artwork for the mid-1960s issue of All Shook Up. And uh, there's Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear sleeve down there. Track number seven is uh, Jailhouse Rock, with the second Jailhouse Rock cover here. Um, a few videos ago I showed you the original one with the blue blue cover, very similar to this, but in blue color. Track number eight is Where My Ring, Around Your Neck, Japanese single artwork down there. Number nine, GI Blues which was a, a single in Japan. And the last one is Kyle Falling in Love. 
and the single artwork down there. Just give some history about Elvis and photographs. Some LP discography selection. More photographs. Some information on DVDs. And then a little essay about how Elvis influenced other artists. A picture of the Beatles and Britney Spears in a jumpsuit. And at the back there you can see the CD is uh, here behind this plastic cover. So you just have to tear this off and then the CD is actually in the proper uh, proper jewel case there. And the back cover is the same as the front. Alright, so I've saved the best till last. Uh, the last thing I'm going to show you, uh, it came out to commemorate the 30th anniversary of Elvis's death. So that would have been 2007. And uh, it came in this box here. And you can see in the bottom corner here, this is the uh, Elvis Presley Enterprises hologram, just to show you it's uh, an official product. Um, and on the front of the box here, 30th, Elvis, 30, Elvis Presley the 30th. Now what this is, it has a frame similar to the box, black leather look frame. And on the inside, This is actually an application form for the product itself. Now this was um, made available by Japan Post, the post office in Japan. And I'll show you what's inside there. So what this is, is um, on this side you have a CD, a gold CD, and it's called Greatest Hits in Japan, I believe. Our best Hits in Japan. And on the left side you have Elvis Stamps, uh, 10 Elvis stamps here at the bottom. These are actually proper stamps. You can actually, of course, use these on uh, envelopes if you want to ruin the display. And uh, you can see here it says Elvis 30th. And the CD just contains, it's got quite a lot of songs on actually. Um, it's a compilation of the more popular hits uh, in Japan. Most of them uh, you can find on regular compilation CDs overseas, but there's, there are always one or two different tracks on Japanese best of CDs, things like GI Blues, uh, Blue Hawaii, and songs like that. As well as this one with the CD and the stamps, they also issued a frame uh, very similar to this one, just with the stamps, but this one has the CD uh, and the stamps as well. Uh, okay, I'm going to leave it there for today. So this week, um, I actually managed to come across uh, a very rare album, a Japanese album, which is not even in the Japan Elvis discography. And uh, so I'm going to do a video including that one next week. But uh, I'll leave it there for now. Thanks for watching and uh, take care.